This is a walkthrough of the Earl Boyd's Projects Shape Module. It's really quite simple. You can see it here at um, Earl Boyd's Source Shape.Earl. The reason I have a shape module is so that um, because the heat map and the Boyd's, the autonomous objects that are moving around, these processes both draw things and we send that drawing thing to a web socket. I wanted to have a central place that will handle turning that um, that data into shape objects. So here we have our standard license. It's a module. It's not a behavior or anything. It's just a straight module, and it's a, really a library module. It doesn't run a process or anything. It's not really a library module, but it's 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 not a process. It's just called by the calling uh, process. So you generate a shape, and you can specify just the the type of shape, the point that it's at. Um, the size that it is and the color and then that will uh, set the defaults the fill style will just be color and the gradient color will be set to um, all zeros and no alpha because we don't need it and then we're drawing a if we're drawing a rectangle we specify the shapes by atom you can have rectangle ellipse pac-man you specify your point x y you specify your size um, and you can see with um, the shapes, the size will become radians, and for rectangles, the size will be a square. Height and width will be the same. Your red, green, blue, and alpha, your fill style, and then your gradient uh, red, green, blue, and alpha. For your second, um, uh, it's a, radian, um, a radial gradient, and that'll be your outside circle. Your inside circle will be this, your outside circle will be that. So pass back shape is rectangle. These will all become fields in um, a JSON object. So JavaScript will read that JSON in, turn these into objects, and these will be this will be an object. It's a bunch of tuples in a list. Uh, we can see the end of the list here, and each tuple has its field name and then what the value is. And I'm pretty sure these this will come back as a string. These will come back as numbers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, so your X and your Y, your height, your width, your red, your green, your blue, your alpha, your fill style, which will be uh, color or gradient, and then your gradient red, gradient green, gradient blue, gradient alpha. The only difference with um, ellipses is that you're doing radians, and where to start drawing the arc, and where to end. End has to. Be, I put end in single quotes because end is a, um, a an Erlang built-in keyword. And we're going to go a full circle if it's an ellipse. And so it's measured in radians. So there are two pi radians. And go to Khan Academy if you want to learn more about that. And then your red, green, blue values, your fill style, which will be, um, you can be color or gradient. And if you have a gradient, then it'll fill in your gradient red, gradient green, gradient blue, and gradient alpha. And then if you have a Pac-Man shape, this one only goes, it starts at math pi, and I think it's starting from, if you have a circle, it'll start from on the right side of the circle in the middle. So um, go to the top of the circle and go, if it's a clock, go from 12 o'clock down to 3 o'clock, and that's where it'll start. No, sorry, that's where it normally starts. That would be zero. And if we start at a quarter of a pi, a pi is a, is a hemisphere, so a quarter of a pi would be quarter of the way down, and... Uh, Sure, that'd be half a pi, and so we're going to do a quarter pi. So we're going to start at about, uh, it'll be about, what, 3, 4, 4.30 on a clock. And then um, that's the start. And then n will be 1.75 pi. So two pies is all the way around, starting at 3 o'clock. So we want to go one full pi, then a half pi, and then I think another quarter pi would be at 1.30 on a clock. So we're going to go from 1.30 down to 4.30. So we'll leave this... Uh, uh, it'll be a, end up being the mouth of the Pac-Man. So we start there, and then at the end, uh, yeah, so then the the JavaScript drawing on the web page will finish off drawing the mouth with the, uh, the HTML5 canvas code. And then our red, green, blue, our fill style, and then our gradient red, green, blue, and alpha. And that's it. That's the shape module for drawing. Uh, they're not they're objects. They're just uh, lists of tuples that'll be turned into JSON that and then uh, the web page will turn that back into an actual JavaScript object.